Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, class. This is Professor Coyote. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Europa Universalis, our Wales campaign. Now, uh, first I want to address something really quickly that I saw after I was editing. Uh, well, from my last batch, uh, it looks like... Uh, I do apologize if the audio was a bit low on the last few episodes. Uh, it turned out that Audacity had my mic volume ticked down to about 75%. So hopefully, hopefully, this will be better from uh, here on out now that I've seen that. Now, let's look over things really quickly. If you remember from our last episode... Uh, it was kind of a boring, you know, definitely one of those more boring episodes where Professor Coyote just talks about plans and digesting things. Uh, but uh, let's look over here. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, as you know, uh, Wales here has about, oh, I'd say a good... What? Uh, Fifteen. Okay, so we do have a majority of the British Isles. Uh, I'd say probably close to what uh, three fifths. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, so like sixty percent of the British Isles. Uh, England, of course, is right torqued off with that. Uh, not as bad as it could be, but that's just due to <laughs> trying to go a, a little bit of, <coughs> excuse me, improve relations at them. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. We're mostly waiting on Brittany, or either Brittany or England to do something dumb so we can actually go after Brittany. And we've got our two, uh, our first official colony was completed, uh, Eriksfjord. Uh, which would probably sound something really crazy in uh, <laughs> in Welsh. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's got yeah. So those uh, this one will be ours no matter what, even if it, uh, it splits off. Oh, actually, then again, let me check really quickly. Geographical map modes. Did they finally put? Okay, no, yeah. I was going to say, it is sort of counted as Canada in the region, but Greenland is not counted as a colonial region, so even if this whole thing splits off, we'll still have Greenland. Uh, we have our first North American here in uh, Casco, which, uh, if I remember my geography correct, is Portland or Bangor. Penobscot might be Bangor. Anyway, so uh, we have in Maine there. Uh, we have it in Maine. Uh, we have New Wales in New England. <laughs> it's probably going to be called New Wales, too. Um, and that is a little over halfway done, so we'll probably end up going to Merrimack or Massachusetts next. Uh, so Wales is uh, cooking along pretty well with our colony, and we're still making two, almost three ducats, even with a colony cooking, so... That's that's great. We have a little bit of corruption that needs to get, get taken care of. Uh, Holy Roman Empire still hasn't done anything about uh, declaring uh, Holy War yet, so we're great as far as that goes. France is our still our buddy, even though they're Catholic. Brandenburg and Denmark are our, our co-Protestant buddies, though uh, the Reformed has showed up here in uh, Switzerland. And they're kind of going pretty hard. So uh, the war might end up being more reformed versus Protestant at this rate. Because <coughs> Bavaria has it right there nice and hard. And Austria is already starting to get a little bit of, uh, of an issue. So, yeah. Uh, so really, like I said, it's a bit of a long... Uh, taking a bit of the long game. Uh, England is still a major threat. But hopefully <coughs> we can find something for them to do. And we can just take over Brittany. Because Brittany is our ch ticket to happiness. Because uh, Brittany has something like of the lines of... Uh, let's check the ledger really quickly, actually, before I say anything. Do -do 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 -do. Mm, Brittany has a whole 91 uh, development. So they would be pretty nifty if we can get the, that whole clay. That would be nine. Uh, potentially... Uh, what? Like... 14 
after we get uh, quantity going. I think we still got quantity going. Yeah. So, nifty nifty. So let's go out of time and we'll see how things are going. Uh, we've lost protection against Brittany. Oh, okay, let's see what all that mess was. So England finally announced this is their new rival again. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, Brittany is doing that. We lost our protection, which means they're not doing stupid things yet. Uh, message for the faithful. We can drop uh, church power for war exhaustion, although I don't think we have any war exhaustion. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Uh, <laughs> uh, unjustified demands. Let's see. Missionary strength versus heretics, which we definitely don't need anymore. Tolerance of the true faith, or just ten loyalty for the clergy. Hmm. Well, let's just do the clergy, because uh, really, all those aren't doing anything right now. We're not in a war, so the unjustified demand slash war exhaustion is pointless. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. Um, and as we know, we're completely, we're like super solid Protestants, so we don't even need the uh, issues with, um, blah, blah, blah. with trying to convert anything. So, yeah, we're golden. So... I mean, I hate taking the loyalty, but then again, it gives us a little bit of extra tax monies. So, let's see what that does. In fact, I think it's about to pop us. Show it. But, okay, we went down a little bit. Okay, so Brittany did do, do, is doing dumb things. Apparently, they got Utrecht doing something, too. I think England might be... No, still just Brittany Paul. Now, I think they're still pissed off. With, yeah, they, they hate France because, you know, everybody hates France. And oddly enough, is it because we finally took... No. Denmark hates them, but they decided to roll on us. Probably because it's a little bit easier. I guess the game probably figures, hey, if it goes after us, then... Uh, free power projection, right? Another aspect of faith. What should we take? Prestige. I think we've already... Yeah, we've already taken the two military. Missionary strength is pointless. Uh, stability is kind of pointless because we get cheaper stability due to being Welsh. Development cost. Uh, you know, it's either development cost or yearly prestige. The prestige is actually kind of ruddy. No, nah, actually, it's a little bit better. So this would bump us to almost a like point a year. Could definitely help out the morale. I mean, morale is... Morale is at 4.1. And that's uh, mostly just due to prestige. So, you know what? Let's take that. We can always swap it out later. When we get full of church power. Okay. Six transports. Probably need to do more. That one needs that one. Is chilling out there because it's hopping our. That's actually they probably can come home now. Because as soon as Casco gets somebody, then they'll just hop over. So yeah, uh, let's bop shabop that cog back with his buddy. Where are they? There, Leinster. Do 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 do. Okay, so that's that. Casco looks like it's gonna pop and. Probably another five years. Oh, wow. I think my... Uh, <laughs> I recently updated my, my driver, so hopefully this actually will look a little bit better as far as uh, size, because it's a little it's a little small for me, which means uh, I think I'm running it at actual um, definition now. I know, that's not the term, but whatever. <laughs> I, I, my brain is, like, busy. All right, so let's try to see if we can improve with France a little bit more, because who are they guaranteeing? They're guaranteeing Liege. I wish they would guarantee us. But no, they don't want to guarantee us. All right, so let's see what we got here. So, uh, Sweden... Oh, Sweden actually... Oh, man, lucky, lucky... Lucky Denmark, because just a couple years ago, Sweden was at the full hundo, but they managed to dr grind it down to 34%. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. So we'll see if uh, if Denmark decides to do something, uh, like actually form Scandinavia or something. Uh, Muscovy is about probably Ryazan away from popping into uh, into Russia. Uh, yeah, may because I think they, if I remember, uh, with the uh, you need Ry uh, either Ryazan or Tula to form Russia, uh, or maybe Kursk. I mean, it's 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 one of these. Could be Smolensk even, but uh, they're close to being Russia, and that might be uh, might be something to think about. But uh, no, they're they're too they're too down with us. Uh, do, 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 do. Wish we could actually make nice with Castile again. They'd be great. Apparently, they're having too busy being African wars. Wow, they took a whole chunk of Guinea. But that's why we hopped to North America because obviously this stuff ain't gonna work. Do do do. Persia's formed. Out of the Timrids. Okay, things seem to be going... Puttering along pretty well. It's only 1525, I think. Yeah, we took the last text, so we're good up until printing press. Unfortunately, printing press will probably be somewhere around here. Because that's where it usually pops. <coughs> so we're probably going to be a little bit far out on that one. We got lucky that colonialism was in London. So... Hopefully that catches us up. What do we build here? Did we build a new light ship? I guess we built a new light ship. Are we building more ships? Or did we just build the one ship? I think we just built the one ship. I can't keep track of my ships! Help! <laughs> there are too many ships. There are far too many ships! Oh, dang. That totally... <coughs> Sorry about that. I was trying to do a, a Don Knotts voice, but uh, I am far too sick for that. Alright, let's do another caravel then. Do, 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 do. We've got the cash for that. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. <laughs> How is England looking? I saw that 22 there. They're at 39. They're at four. So they're at 40. <coughs> Which means they could still. They'll definitely roll over us unless uh, we get everybody to help. In fact, we got. Do uh, Denmark is about our only saving grace. That we could probably hop into, into Ireland. And in fact, actually, I was thinking. I was giving this a thought. That maybe, uh, and this should probably be for best interest. We need to move the capital away from Gwynedd. At least temporarily. Now, this sucks, of course. We're Wales. We should have a capital be in Wales. But, hear me out. Because the way that England is, and the way we have Wales, or at least set up Wales, we will have our capital roll over pretty hard, and there's not really much we can do about it. So, we'll probably need to do it here in Ireland. Maybe Kildare? I mean, Kildare is where Dublin is, so maybe we do a sort of Irish, Welsh, Wirish, Welrish. Something like that. <laughs> uh, we can move the capital here for just 200 admin. We definitely have the admin. And at least that way, <coughs> we can rally behind uh, the capital, and Gwynedd and Glenover and Shire and Cornwall can get rolled over, and even if we lose those, the game's not over. So... I think... I think that's in our best bet, because Kildare is landlocked. So they can't just uh, pop somebody over and then roll over. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Sorry, Gwynedd. We're going to have to be Irish-Welsh. What? Why didn't... Okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. I was like, why didn't that, that carry over? <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh... Once we roll back over the Brits, if, if that happens, we'll probably roll the capital back to Gwynedd uh, to be the traditional capital. But, uh, you know, so we'll, we'll consider Kildare to be the, 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 the new capital for now. Because we're, we're not dumb. We, we know that... Uh, we did build another one. We know that Britain wants us badly. 
I mean, like I said, uh, doing able to put that in the middle. I mean, we're over time on on admin anyway, so like so the 200 points were just useful. And this way. Yeah. This way gives us a little bit of protection. Protection. We can pull people. Uh, basically, can pull our stakes back, burn the bridge of the Irish Sea, go here and kill there, and then see, you know, what we can do. Because at least that gives us another a, a fort there. We have the fort in Lothian, but you know, whatever. Okay. Now let's pick some trade. Minus four, plus thirty-six, one hundred two. Well, I guess uh, English Channel it is. Oh, that's what I was doing with that. <laughs> I forgot we were evening them out to tens. Uh, oh, well. So it's 12 and 8 now. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, that's the problem with coming back after you've already done something. <coughs> Dang, I'm really sorry about that coffin. Uh, but anyway, so... Now... These guys aren't so much of a priority for us to defend. Uh, we've got an actual ca uh, castle here, and we can fall back to kill there. So it's just a little bit more tactically sound. I mean, uh, you know. Yeah. It's about probably the most tactical decision I've done in a while. <laughs> Has all of the okay. Okay. Yeah, I hate that, that that that's the highlight of this this episode so far is moving the capital, but you know, you know how that goes. All right, so we'll move it, we'll move it to speed five. Build a bit of a war chest back up. This is good news. What we got here? Okay, that was just uh. That was just Holy Roman Empire stuff. <coughs> and what we're going to do here is build three more cogs. Build that to ten. That way we have a little bit more maneuverability with those guys. Uh -huh. Well, you know what? You're going to go join the, uh, the North Sea guys. Showing us building those other ships. <laughs> Let's see. We've got the formers. When news the protest event spread to our land, we were among the first to accept it. Because we're awesome. But uh, we're not surrounded by these fools on all sides. So England will be not. You know what? Well, let's go with the prestige. Because England already rivals us. So the, pl the plus 60 doesn't really do much. I mean. <coughs> and we could really use the extra prestige. Because we're only getting plus Point eight. All right. Let's see here. Diplotech plus thirty-five. So we can take that idea. I believe it is exploring the global tariffs. That's not a big deal, but it does get us closer on production efficiency. Plus, we'll get that second colonist pretty soon. Then we can start just because once we do ex exploration, you know what? Then we'll probably start forgetting about the islands. <laughs> And then just start rolling over on some of these tribes. Like, yeah, sure. Boom. Okay, so... You know, the, the tariffs don't mean much because we don't really have anything that gives us tariffs yet. But whatever. Really, it's just kind of advancing that idea. Actually, speaking of advancement of ideas, let's look at these advisors. Improve relations. Good lord. Never production efficiency. There we go. Our production efficiency is 518, so that would make us another 0.5 ducats, so it wouldn't quite pay off. Plus, admin doesn't really do much for us. Ooh, we'll take the discipline. There we go. That gives us a happy discipline of 107.5%. Yeah, come at us now, bro. Hey, like, try some of that stuff. Uh uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm too white for that. Well, speed it down a little bit. Let's see, what is England's force limit? Because they're busy building like mad. 47, okay. I think we 
have a force summon 27, so it's time. Did we just get early reformers again? Sweet. More prestige. Yeah. Okay. And we will build a pony for each. Ponies for everybody. We'll have them hang out at Lothian. <coughs> Everybody wants a pony. Let's, meanwhile, Norway is pissing off the Catholics. Yeah, which means Norway is almost... Ooh. Yeah, they're having some of those issues. <laughs> Looks like uh, Denmark is slow to get them converted. Hey, pony, you go over there. Okay. We're getting close on Casco, I guess. We can hit Massachusetts and uh, we can park our car and have it yet. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I had to do that. Let's see. No, I didn't have to do that, but I wanted to do it so badly. <laughs> Let's see. We got a friend here who's close to us. Maybe we can start making nice, nice with the, uh, the natives, too. Another boat. Oh, yeah, okay. We're doing awesome. Everything is awesome. I really shouldn't be saying this stuff out loud because the universe, you know, of course, uh, abhors a, a vacuum. All right, let's spend some of these admin points, I think. We are still, yeah, we're still three years ahead, so let's spend some admin points. Make things money. Make some money. Plus 11, plus 12, plus 12, jackpot. Plus 14. Uh, yes, please. Oh, plus 16. That's right. Fish is doing great right now. <coughs> okay, that should be enough admin, but yeah, that's going to pretty much rock it up, up pretty well. And oh boy, Navy tradition. Come on, let's see what we got. Okay, that got us half a ducat. That's great. Because uh, the good expl supplies expired, so. That's good timing on those ships, really. Okay, doing a quick time check. Okay, so we're, as soon as... Uh, there we go. Alright, since Casco went... Uh, I don't want to do a freaking colony of the Caribbean. What's wrong with you? And we don't really want to do a Canada... <coughs> like I said, we're going to hop to Massachusetts, and these guys are going to get down there. I think Massachusetts, is, yeah, it's it's not too strong on the native presence, so we'll just chill out there and then grab Massachusetts from our colonist. In fact, let's uh, we can make Massachusetts Bay do a state. Yes, please. Boom, boom, and gee. Gee, the nobility wants something. Here, you know what, nobility? You can have... Gre you can have Greenland, yeah. Have Greenland. Good for you. Freeze out there! Ha 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 Oh, sorry, I should probably keep this quiet. My, my, my wife, Lady Hattie, is doing some streaming. I think your door's open. Oh, well. Okay, so we're going to put a pin in here. Because... Uh, we did do some good things. Like I said, we, we, we tactically got smart, moving the capital. <coughs> Built up our to our force limit because we can. We're making four ducats for that. And we have our second colony, which will probably... Probably will take Pan uh, Merrimack uh, next. Just wanted to grab Massachusetts because it was tasty. Although these guys are all sixes. Yeah, y'all. Okay, so as soon as they land in Massachusetts, that's where we'll end it. Uh, oh no, a trade embargo on Naples. Well, they're dumb now. Ooh. Free fight? Ah, great. Uh, some more bound power, which we're already full on, so we'll get extra manpower. And recruiting in Fife. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Come on. 
Alright, so we now have three colonies. Two colonies finished and one. Four, three, two, one. Just started. Welcome to Massachusetts. You are now Welsh instead of Irish. Well, then again, we're like the Irish Welsh, so you might still have the, that Boston accent, just a uh, little bit more nasal. Anywho, let's end it right there. I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. We have some more things to look forward to in case Brittany or England still does some dumb things, but we'll probably just uh, head west, young man. So I hope you have a very excellent rest of your day. And with that, class dismissed.